Hey Journey More, I'm about to show you how to do the round lashing. So make sure you stick around for the full video. That way you can learn how to do this too. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. The round lashing is used to bring two poles together to make one longer pole. We use this a lot in scouts. This is actually how we made the flag poles for our campsites. So just like every other lashing practically, you will do a clove hitch on one pole, then we'll start to wrap. So right here, I'm gonna come underneath this pole, pull plenty through, wrap around, and I'm gonna make an X with my ropes here. I'm gonna keep it tight. You can see that X there. And then I'm gonna come back with the excess. And I'm gonna put it underneath the X and come up through the top of the X. This rope is a little bit frayed, which if you've got frayed rope, you can check out our other video of how to fix that. We'll put a little link in the, the card up there. Pull that through, tighten it up. There you go, just like that. Now from here, rather than wrapping in like a figure eight motion, like the sheer lashing, we're actually just gonna wrap around the poles all together. So I'm gonna go away from my clove hitch here. I'm not gonna come up here because there's not enough room up here. So I'm gonna wrap down here and then I'm gonna do a clove hitch on the other post opposite of this one. Get my post together. So I'm gonna wrap, and I'm gonna keep that tension the whole time I'm wrapping around these two posts. And with a round lashing, you want plenty of wraps. This rope is probably not gonna be long enough to make a really strong round lashing for these two posts. That's okay, I'm just showing you here. But keep that in mind before you do this. The thicker your post, the longer the rope you're gonna need. Now, like I said, this is not enough rope for this. So I would probably do about double the wraps on this. The reason is, with this post being as tall as it is, it's gonna have a lot of top heavy weight to it. And so it's gonna pull down and it's gonna probably pull this apart here. And we don't want that. But the more wraps you do, the more it'll stop that from happening. But I'm gonna end my lash here with a clove hitch. On the opposite post, again, I've got my X. I'm gonna put this through the bottom. It's gonna come through the top of the X down here. Now, as you can see, my wraps were so tight that I couldn't really get this rope through the middle here. So I couldn't keep my clove hitch tight to it. But there you have it. That's the round lashing. We'll stand this up here. As you can see, right there that's how you know you don't have enough wraps but we get this up here it'll stand and it'll hold but again if there's some weight up there if you've got a flag up there or something like that it's probably going to topple a little bit so make sure you've got plenty of rope for your round lashing but that's how you do it putting two poles together making one longer pole we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us that thumbs up. We'd love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Journey More community. We'd love for you to come journey more with us. Check out our other lashing videos. We've released multiple at the same time, just so you guys can learn everything at once, but keep them in some smaller videos. So we'll see you next time.